Good morning. It is 5 a.m. It is freezing outside. And we are on our way to the Tatito Giza, which is the number one thing to do in Atacama on TripAdvisor. Um, the reason we're up so early is because the geezers weirdly don't erupt during the day. It's only at sunrise. Um, so we're going up 4,000 something meters, isn't it? 4,200. 4,200 meters um, for sunrise. So um, we're the only ones on the road at the moment, but apparently it gets kind of busy. So we'll see. The drive was probably the most difficult of our six day trip. Not only because it was pitch black with no road markings, but the off-road track really was a bone shaker and at times it felt like the car was going to fall apart. If there was one trip you might want to consider doing on a tour, then it's this one. But if you can keep your nerve and concentrate, it will be really rewarding on the way back. So keep watching to find out. So we're here, we've arrived at the Giza. It's taken about two hours to get here. Uh, it was quite a bumpy ride, very dark, lots of dust, vehicles passing, and it's just, just taken a long time, but we've made it before the sun's come up over the mountains. Loads of people here. Uh, it's 10,000 to get in uh, per person. It's a bit of a mission to get in as well, but we're, we're in now. Uh, it's absolutely freezing. I think uh, it's about minus five, minus six at the moment. So you do need to remember that even though down in San Pedro, it might be four or five degrees up here, it is very cold until the sun comes up and then it will warm up. So let's have a look around. So apparently uh, there's a lava flow underneath this area and uh, the cold water coming down from the mountains at, on the Andes uh, reaches the lava flow and then you know as the, as the two touch it creates the steam, creates the 84 or 86 geysers that I think are here. Uh, it's quite something to see. Um, I mean if you've been to uh, if you've been to Iceland, then it, it, you know they're not as big, they're not as, as good as that, but it's definitely worth the trip to come and see. El Tatio, which means oven or grandfather, is the third largest geyser field in the world and the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. It's amazing to think that just below the surface, there's plenty of action going on with the Earth's crust bubbling and boiling, belching out steam, releasing the pressure on the ground. Are you cold? Yes, freezing. The nose is falling off. The sun is just coming over though, isn't it? Like, yeah. Just coming over the brow. Is the ground hot to touch? I don't know. Can you try? See if it's too... No? Just wet. It's important to remember that you are at 4,300 meters, 14,000 feet above sea level. So this trip should only be tackled after you've had a few days to acclimatize. 
If you've not seen our other Atacama videos, check them out for details of the best things to do before this trip. So we're now at the second part of uh, the tour and things you can do here at the Geezers. There's a hot spring and if you want to go in and have a swim you can do, it's about 30 Celsius. So some of the, uh, some of the people here today are doing that and uh, looks very nice too. We're not going to do that. <laughs> sun's kind of properly up above the mountains now and temperature is kind of all right i think it's still like minus four but it's, yeah way more manageable now it was freezing earlier Favorite this time. Oh, it's ready for the spaghetti. Better, mamma mia! It's cool down and then it stops. It has its moment. Back in the car for the return journey, this part of the trip turned out to be a real surprise. Having driven in near darkness and no idea of the terrain we'd been on, the wonders of this region appeared in all their magical glory. Volcanoes, desert moon-like landscapes, and green frozen wetlands pass you by on this incredible two-hour drive. 
This is why a self-drive is so rewarding. You can just pull over wherever and whenever you like to enjoy the wonderful changing colors, landscape and wildlife. A few kilometers outside of San Pedro town and a good afternoon trip after the early start for the geezers is Mars Valley or Death Valley as it's also known. Here you can rent a sandboard, cycle, go on a horse riding tour, or as we did, just park up and walk over the stunning landscape, imagining that you've just landed on Mars. Sunset is supposed to be the best time to visit as the colours go deep red as the sun fades away. Tickets are two and a half thousand pesos each. The walk from the car park is a good 45 minutes and it's quite strenuous, so make sure you carry some water with you. Another hiking area with some really interesting rock formations is the Devil's Throat. Entrance is 3,000 pesos each and access is by car or you can cycle from San Pedro, but it is about a 28 kilometer round trip. There is a labyrinth of caves, trails and stunning rock formations to lose yourself in for an hour or so. The area is silent, barren and devoid of sound, which makes it a magical, mystifying place to be.
Over the last three episodes, we have driven the Atacama Desert and shown you how easy and rewarding a self-drive tour of the region can be. We hope you've found this guide helpful in planning your Atacama adventure. Let us know in the comments. Please support us by giving us a like and hopefully subscribing as we grow this channel. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed our Atacama videos. Remember to check out our other Chile videos. But until next time, happy travels from the memory seekers.